Guten Tag, ich heiße Sarah Goddard und ich bin Lehrerin von Französisch und Deutsch in Richard Hewitt College. I think you should choose German because doing German is like doing many subjects in one. You do some history, you do some politics, there's also a film to watch and study, you read a book, you do a little bit on art and architecture. It's so varied and so interesting. I would say that we learn a lot about the German culture and history. I think it's you know very important, but we continue with topics like family, and traditions, so I guess there's that continuity but you also get to learn something new. At the beginning of year one, everybody does a grammar refresher because we know that when you come to us, you're gonna need that extra support. We also then start to study the six topics which are done in year one. We finish the year with looking at a film. The film that I've chosen to do in German is Das Leben der Anderen, or Lives of Others fascinating film about East Germany before the wall came down. In year two, we do six more themes. So it's very content rich, the A-level. You learn a lot about German society and politics in year two. We then study a book and I've chosen to do Der Vorleser, which broadly speaking is about Germany and German people trying to overcome the past. During year two, you will do your own independent research project you can do exactly what you want based on any German-speaking country. So a typical lesson in German may be starting off with a short grammar exercise. We'll then use some kind of source material to spark some conversation and discussion. We do some productive work, like a translation from German into English or English into German. And then at the end of the lesson, we'll do some writing, which brings it all together and helps you to embed what you've learned during the lesson. In between all that, we do some exciting activities such as speed dating or running translations, and the students really enjoy that. I think the lessons are really engaging because we learn a lot about obviously the topic that we're studying, but then that's intertwined with a lot of grammar as well. We see the lessons are really well structured and nobody's left behind. One really important element of coming to do German at Richard Hewish College is that we have a language assistant who will work with you right from the beginning of your course for 20 minutes a week on a one-to-one -one lesson and they will practice with you your speaking skills. So the teaching assistants are people from the country so they're basically teach assistants who focus solely on the speaking aspect of the course. Reading something and writing something is very different to actually spontaneously being able to come up with something and say it. So I think having 20 minutes a week is really beneficial. You know a lot of colleges don't have that. It's a very valuable thing to have at Hewish. And to be honest when you do a language A level that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to communicate with people, speaking with them when you go to that country and this will really help you to do that. You have opportunities for enrichment here at Richard Hewish. We'll be doing a residential German trip. I've also set up a mentoring scheme in year one when year two students will mentor year one students and any things that the universities are putting on, any webinars or seminars, we make those available. You'll be examined at the end of your two years on three exams. Paper one is the biggie, that's two and a half hours, and that comprises listening, reading, translation, and writing skills. Paper two is the writing paper. You have to write two essays in two hours. One is on the book and one is on the film. And then paper three is the oral paper. So we practice things like the cards that we have to do a final exam on for the A-level and we also practice speaking presentations because one aspect of the course is to deliver a presentation on a chosen topic. So, so we practice a lot of those things so we know exactly what to do for the final exam. Differences between GCC and A-level. I think it's much more interesting to study a language at A-level. You've learned so much more about the culture and the society of the language that you're learning. If you're passionate for the subject, it's not a massive change. Yes, you notice when the A-level begins, but it's a manageable step to take. Very few linguists actually go on to study just a language at university. They usually combine it with another subject. You could transfer to a different language. Because you have the skills in one language, it means that you're much more able to learn a new language. It leads also into jobs in the retail world, into international business, the finance world, or the GCHQ sort of area, if you wanted to be a spy, for example. The top universities love a language, even if you don't want to continue it to degree level, because the skills that you've learned are going to be so useful in whatever you do. I definitely recommend taking German because 
there's not a lot of people that speak German. I think if you like the subject at GCSE and you want to learn another language or you think it would fit in well with your other subjects, I think it would be a very good opportunity. I'm definitely glad that I took German. Danke, dass Sie diese Vorstellung zugehört haben. Es wäre wirklich schön, wenn Sie Deutsch bei uns studieren würden. Ich hoffe, Sie gleich hier in der Oberstufe bei Richard Hewish zu sehen. Tschüss!